Hi, in one of our previous videos we have showed you how to create a new IoT device inside ThinkSpot and we also sent just one measurement by using CURL. Now we're going to use code to send a bunch of measurements of temperature and humidity using the DHT22 uh, humidity and temperature sensor you can see it here and this is actually the way we're going to connect it in our ESP32 board and we're going to use a sample code that you have in the paradigm repository this is the sample code that we're going to use in the Arduino ID in uh, this sample code you should change the Wi-Fi access point name according to yours and of course the corresponding password and you also need to use the device token the IoT device token of the device you are going to upload the measurements you remember that in the things board panel if we go to home devices and check our test device by copying the access token we are going to get this unique token needed to be put at this point of our code it's the same uh, token I have copied it earlier so I'm not going to change anything here ignore this window it's a simulation window that works very well actually for testing purposes but we're going to run this code on our ESP32 circuit and let's go and compile and upload it to our ESP32 board I'm waiting to press the boot button which is necessary for uploading the code on the board few seconds more and yes this is it I managed to press the boot button at the right time so now the code is uploading to ESP32 board and if I go to the serial monitor yes here it is you see that it constantly sending data to our ThinkSpot server to this device with this token so if I open this panel again and go to test device latest telemetry you see that every few seconds a new humidity and temperature uh, measurement is uploaded to uh, the ThinkSport device uh, before going on to make a visualization with a dashboard I would like just to clarify that in order for this code to run you need to have installed some uh, libraries first DHT ESP library is one uh, that we have installed in an earlier video let's see it here DHT ESP it was this one by BG Tokyo but for this experiment to run correctly we also need the ThingSport library it is this one you see it's installed because I've done it earlier or else it wouldn't compile correctly my program I also need the PubSub client library it's not one of the first ones here 
have to go a little further and this is it pub sub client by nico leary and last i need to have installed arduino json library by benoit blanchon if all these libraries are installed in your id then the code will run without any problems and as you see it constantly sending new data to my thingsboard channel to my thingsboard device so let's see what happens here new div new data every three or four seconds now now that i have some measurements it is a good idea to uh, go on and make a dashboard in order to visualize them so i will go to uh, dashboards over here and create a new one let's call it a test dashboard there's nothing else in this view so I'm going to add this one and uh, I will also make it public so that I can have uh, a link that I can give to others to see my measurements without having to log in to Thingsport. So I click on the name of the dashboard and I click on make dashboard public this is the link I have to uh, give to others so I'm copying it and let me keep it in some text pad notepad okay and now you see that the public checkbox is checked now let's go to our next step which is to add the visualization widgets first we need to create an entity alias to connect with our data node the device so we click on our dashboard we open the dashboard press pencil and then we go to the entity ally says we have to add an alias here let's say my ESP32 at the filter type I select single entity at the type I go for device and in the device section I'm using test device to connect this dashboard with the test device that gives the measurements so now I'm ready to add the Ali, the alias and save it now to the next step back to our dashboard we're going to add a new widget and as you see there's a large variety of available widgets but since our, our telemetry currently contains only temperature and uh, humidity measurements we uh, can select uh, an analog coach for example let's take a radial coach for example every time you select a widget you have to uh, use the right data source to provide the measurements I'm selecting entity 
my SP32, which is the alias that I earlier created. And let's get humidity. It is ready. You see that uh, radial analog gods for humidity has been set up. I can change its name so that uh, I know that this one is for uh, humidity. Display with the title and say humidity right there. Check. And you see it written here. Let's try another widget, for example, for the temperature. Let's use um, not an analog. Let's see if there is some digital codes. It is right here. Let's use this vertical bar which is fancy. Again, add the data source, an entity, my SP32, temperature, add, and this is it. I can move it and resize it in the canvas. Let's give a name for these two at the settings. temperature it's okay now we have two uh, codes that show only the latest value of the measurements for humidity and temperature let's open this so that temperature can be shown and Let's also try to uh, show some time series, not only the latest value. Again, you can add a new widget here, create new widget, and let's go for a chart. So add data sources, entity, my SP32, the alias I have used for my device, and humidity and temperature. One is blue, the other is green. So I'm adding this. And here you can see both measurements changing in real time. A few minutes later I have plenty of measurements. I forgot to press check here to apply changes. I can change the time frame here from showing last one minute measurements or two or five or in seconds if my measurements were too fast or in minutes and hours or even days so let's make it for the last five minutes to see something different yes I've got five minute measurements Let's go for 10. And this will keep changing. I can also uh, define other uh, time frames which are much longer. For example, I can select a time period. I can have even years of measurements. But of course I don't have them right now for this device that I have just set up. But if you want, you can uh, 
change the time frame from this tab. You can also uh, change parameters of uh, each of the widgets that you create. You can always press enter edit mode and then you have a pencil for each widget that you have created. Let's try this edit widget here for example and you can see that you can remove for example one of your measurements or add something from another device there are attributes here about the color of the widget if it can be full screen enabled the display of legends the color fonts if vertical and horizontal lines need to be displayed and some axis settings for example you can give maximum and minimum uh, values of the y-axis in order to get a more meaningful diagram and many more each uh, widget has its own attributes for you to change according to your wishes There is one thing that I left for the end. You remember that earlier I copied this public dashboard link so that I can give it to others and give them the chance to see my measurements. But if I'm going to paste this one in another window, let's say in Chrome, you see that although the three widgets that we have uh, created appear it says that no data to display on widget are available this is because although we have created a public dashboard we didn't make our device public when we created our device test device here we didn't make it public so if we want its measurements to become available to others we have to go to devices test device and make the device public here you see that after the confirmation the device and all of its data will be made public and accessible by others so I press yes here or else I won't be able to see anything now if I go back to Chrome and refresh you see that I can uh, access the device data it is really public now both the device its measurements and the dashboard that we have created